The winged heart is the model by Francis O. I recommend the use of dual color origami paper that is bigger than 10 cm or 4 inch. The model is low intermediate as I rate it because the collapsing is not too easy, but with a little persistence a beginner can do it. So let's get started. I use a fairly large 25 cm by 25 cm sheet, but such a small one with 10 will do it also. So now I have a red and white piece of paper for that nice heart and we fold it in half our sheet. So the white is outside, open it up again and repeat that with the other part. As you see I always rotate so the paper points away from myself. Now we fold the paper in quarter on both sides, that means bringing the edges of the paper to the center line we just folded just along here and also on the other side. If that's a little too quick for you feel free to pause the video at any time. Okay, so we have quarters now. Now we will reverse one of the folds. Turn it over and now along this fold we already created just fold back. Okay, very well. Now turn the sheet over once more and fold this edge to this point. And you will see that the corner will meet with the cross between the two creases we just created and also the edges are aligned. A simple 45 degree crease. Very well. Now turn the sheet over again and fold the outer edges to the center line here. Well done, just like this, that it looks like a cupboard a little. Okay, now it will get a little tricky. We'll pull the paper over and fold along this line. Okay, so just take the paper and don't be afraid to pull it and make a crease here on this line here. Very well, okay. Now we have those creases which we will also reverse, so make it belly folds. So here it comes and flatten the whole thing. Very well. Now you will see that on the top here you have also paper and there you create a new crease. And do the very same thing on the other side, reverse that crease, so flatten it and recrease it the other way around. And there on the top you create a new crease. Very well. Okay. So it goes from here to there. Okay, now make another 45 degree angle crease on both sides. And now we will bring this to here with a crease. Okay, so connect those two points with a crease. As you can see, there and also on the other side. So one more pair of 45 degree angle creases. You probably can't see them because it's red on red, but I'm sure you can do it. So this is the crease you just made. And now we pull that point up. Very simple. When you've done that, the hard part is already over, so congratulate yourself. Okay, now just flatten the whole thing out. 
and be careful with that crease here and also there so you have nice points as you see I also have some problems here because I usually don't use such large sheets but now I'm done too very well so it goes from here to there that is a movement okay so you can see that will be the heart and now we make this heart by you already guessed it 45 degree angles on both sides and then fold the tip to that red edge and do that on the other side too feel free to make variations of where and how many folds you make. I find it better when there are more folds, but for the sake of simplicity, I just made it like this now. Okay, very well. So that is the heart. And now the wings, that is the leftover paper here. We will do a zigzag fold. So you can do either four or eight or even more. Four will be easier, especially if you use small paper, but eight will look better. So decide for your own. Just fold the paper back and forth as I do it now. So if you want to, you can be done uh, with those steps. Okay, there you go. And maybe you want to tape it so it looks better. But that could be your heart already, like this. But if you're brave, you can just do even more creases. So re re reverse them and try to make it so that edge meets edge. So now you have this edge, which you will bring up there and create another crease and then we were one more crease here now bring that to the top edge again and create another crease you see even more creases so and the last edge and also bring that edge here with the last one it's pretty easy just fold the last part in half so now pinch that together again you might want to use tape to keep it in that movement or bend the wings a little And that is your winged heart. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time. Bye bye.